welcome guys in these videos of our game engine series so in this video we're gonna be talking about vector and transform you know each object that has to be drawn on the screen need to have like a transform so all object does have a transform so since we're not building a game but the game engine the transform is really important and the vector will be important because we're gonna be doing some basic stuff you know like rigid body and you know gravity stuff it's important for us to have those those kind of you know stuff in our project now uh, in the previous video we've been talking about the texture manager and we created the texture manager with the draw uh, the draw function and you can see the result right here on the screen you can still go and check that out it's important if you're watching this for your first time so now we need to create our uh, physics folder because those are going to be in the physics folder we create a new new class we're going to be calling this vector 2d this is how we call it it's going to be a header file we don't need a cpp we don't need an implementation file it's going to be on the source backslash physics so physics we want it to be on the physics because we're going to be dealing with physics later and we want a separate folder for that now we want it to be added and we also want it to be released in release and debug we have our physics folder and we have our vector right here now i don't need a destructor the default one will make the job so there's no need doing that so we need to define how our vector will be looking so we know a vector a tri-dimensional vector has two components the x and the y axis so those are going to be public variable you can define them with private and create some getter and setter for them but it doesn't matter for me i just want to use the the public property for them so for initializing a vector we need to have dot x and the y also and uh, i also want them to have zero as default value whenever i create a vector I don't have to initialize it in order I don't have to initialize by giving zero they will automatically have zero as default value so that's the point of it so we simply go ahead and initialize the X and the Y with this so if you see I didn't put the, the M of member on this guy because they are public variables so it doesn't make any sense to put that member stuff in front of them so that's why I just leave them like that so now the constructor simply create our our vector right now with those two functions we don't need a protect because it's not gonna do any inheritance system and stuff now it's important for us in our project let's say for example we want to add two vector together like for example we want to say vector 3 is equal to vector 1 plus vector 2 now actually if you want to do this we'll have to do this for each axis we will have to do it for x and do it for y so if you see what i mean right now we'll have to do it like this and also do it for the y axis and that would be too much for us that's why we're going to be doing something quite um you know strange right here we're going to be overriding um the addition operator and uh, define it so that he could simply add two vector by just writing it like this so we simply add two vector by just writing this so the x and the y component are going to be handled internally so that's why we want to do this now this is how we can do this for the plus operator this is how we can do it so let me go ahead and create another public space right here for this so public so for example we have this this add function we override this operator so we define like inline vector operator plus you can see here we have this plus and we want to add it with this second vector you know that's why we define it like this and here we simply return this actual vector plus the second vector and with this we can simply add two vectors together so what we're doing here we're actually adding the x and the y axis internally but outside when we will 
create a new function we simply you know do it like this without having to write uh, the, the, to add you know the the element on the x axis with the y axis so we can do the same thing for the subtraction so we just add it right here I know if rent so just put it like that friends and all you need is to change the plus and replace it with minus here also now I want us to test this and see what kind of result we have if this is working now switch over to your game engine uh, for you know for you know for debug purposes I need to add a log function right here this log function will simply display the value of our vector so we could see what is going on inside so just so but for that you need to add the iOS stream include iOS stream this iOS stream so we have this this is only a text that we're giving out so we, we can also pass a message like we're gonna be testing that right now so switch over to your game engine and here in the init function but first include it the vector and here in the init function before we return the guy we want to create a vector so I'm gonna say vector v1 and I'm gonna create v1 and v2 so right now we can test it and say v1 log so we just want to log so I'm, I can put some text here and say this is v1 in 2 dash and if I run this ah, the program is running right now that's why I have this so if I run this oh what's going ah I forgot to give the type ah, this is crazy man so go back and try it again perfect we can see here we have v1 x and y 0 0 that's perfect now let's give some value to this because we don't actually know if this is going to be correct so if i do it like this and i run it you can see one one now let's try to add those two vectors together so let's say one one here also those are unit vectors and uh, i want to say like um vector one need to define a third vector to be able to return the, the value vector 3 is equal to v1 plus v2 so the result is supposed to be 2 on the x-axis and 2 on the y-axis so let's see that it's working so we see v3 and we log it you see perfect so this is how we create our vector class so we want to do this for the multiplication and uh, also for the division we also want to be able to do that but for now we can stick with that and uh, yeah we can leave it like this for now we're gonna be creating now our transform class or let's say we add our multiplication just for now because that's important it's not so different you just have to do the same thing now the multiplication is a little bit different because we need a scalar so we have a scalar which is gonna be you know we're gonna be taking the x-axis and the y-axis and multiply them by this color this is simply what we have to do here so that's it for this vector for now we're gonna be handling uh, the division and uh, you know vector length and all that stuff when it becomes important for now it's not important so we don't spend time on that we also want to create the transform class so the transform is gonna be the guy that all object on the screen will need to have so all object will need to have a transform if you want to be shown on the screen you need to have a transform so we say class say transform so and I can navigate to my physics folder because this has to do with you know physics stuff transform and stuff um, soft engine and the source we have the physics folder and we edit so we make sure we don't have the cpp file we don't want the head we only want the header file because there is not a lot to write in there so if we create a cpp file it doesn't make sense anymore so we have our transform class created so things are getting a little bit messy here let me close some stuff 
So we have our transform right here. So I don't need the destructor. You guys can still use it if you want. Now a transform is simply somehow like a vector. It's not so different from a vector, but we just want to have this name transform to make the difference between a vector and a transform. Because transform is actually a position and uh, yeah, we can actually have some uh, function affecting, affecting that position, for example, to translate, to rotate and all that kind of stuff. That's why we need a transform. So the transform need also two parameters because we're talking about two dimensional transform. We're not dealing now with three dimensional. Maybe some that would be, you know, feature, long, long feature stuff, but for now we just stay with that. Say float, float x and y. So uh, by the vector, I forgot it's not integer, it's float because we want to have, you know, um, decimal value. We don't want to have uh, integer numbers. So that doesn't make sense for us right now. Now the constructor work the same way as the as the constructor of vector. We simply need to initialize our transform, but normally the values are initialized with zero if nothing is given. We don't need to protect it because no inheritance. We can also add some basic function like the translate. So we need to add the vector on the top right here. Include vector so the translate we have the translate x which is the translation on the x-axis the idea is we take the actual value of the transform and we add the value to that so we add a value that we, the, the, the distance that we want to translate our object on so that's why we have this x plus equal x so we actually take x we add this small x on it the same thing is done for the y and we also have a two-dimensional translate and we, in this case, we have to pass a vector. We just pass this vector, which is gonna now translate the x and the y axis. Now, this is our transform class. Uh, you can still test it if you want. Create a log function for like the one for the for the translate for the vector. That could be important. Maybe we should do that because that would be point if you want to debug the code. So I'm gonna add make a public function here. And I'm gonna say log message right here. I'm gonna say yeah x y. That's perfect. That's perfect. Now we can also test this to make sure everything is working correctly without any problem. So we include transform. And we come down here. We don't need the vector anymore. So we we also don't need it up here. I always, always like to keep my code clean because I don't want to have too much things that I don't use. Vector, we say transform and I'll say tf, whatever. And uh, yeah, this is initialized. So if I say tf log, let's see what happens if it's working. Perfect, you can see you have the result coming on the screen with zero, zero because if we don't give any value then it's gonna be uh, by default zero so that's all for this video we create our uh, vector and transform class those are gonna be used in the next video to create our object our game object so we're gonna be talking about entity component design in the next video how our object are gonna be handled so we're gonna be creating object and game object class and uh, maybe if the time is enough we will create um, the, the player character class and see if we can move but if not we're going to be doing this doing that in the video after that one so guys think about to support me on patreon subscribe and like this video thank you